Hi, this is Carol Geist and Bev Jones from Summit View Elementary. We would like to share with you some creative ways of using the document camera. We want to start with the setup so you can see how it all works. We have a ceiling mounted projector and we also have an interactive whiteboard along with our document camera and our laptop. We want to work them all together. So we're going to start out first of all with a VGA cord and this will first connect one end into the wall where the projector that's mounted on the ceiling will connect through the wall and then out here and you should be able to just plug that in and screw down the edges tight so that they won't come out just like Bev is doing wiggling and making sure that it's real tight then we're going to find the other end and it's going to go into the far right side of the document camera. You should see on the document camera where it says VGA out on the right side. This is the correct place for it to be plugged in. Then we're going to take another VGA cord. We're going to plug this in in the middle section that says VGA in. It is on the back side there of the document camera. This is going to connect from the document camera over to the laptop. So again, we're going to plug it in to the center plug. And we're going to tighten it with the screws on the sides, making sure it doesn't wiggle its way out. On the other end of the VGA cord, we have a white dongle to plug into my Mac laptop. So now we're going to get the USB connection from the interactive whiteboard and we also want to plug it into the Mac computer. If you'll notice on the screen of the interactive board that we are connected to the computer laptop and it is shining through the projector there. And then when Bev pushes on the button for using the camera, the document camera, the screen will change and you can now see her hand and the controls that are sitting under the document camera. Here you should see the power cord, the projector cord, and the USB for the interactive whiteboard. A day in the life of a first grader. Our goal is to easily share with parents our daily schedule by using the children's illustrations at a back to school night. By using the document camera we can take snapshots of the drawings and have them all ready in order and ready to present. A silent reading when we first come in in the morning. You can draw a picture of what that looks like. You can draw a picture of the kids coming in and finding a book and taking a look math workshop. We would like to do math workshop. Showing a picture of the kids working and doing their manipulative. Everyone in the class has now chosen an activity that they'd like to illustrate. Time to draw. Okay, then we go from computer to camera and it will take a snapshot of the picture and then when you go to playback, we'll have them all in the, the right sequence. And then when you hit, when it's highlighted, and then you hit that one, it will enlarge it so that all the parents will be able to see it from wherever they are in, in the, the room. Past, I used to have transparencies on the overhead and I would have to sit there and flip them one by one. Um, now using the remote, I can walk around the room and simply click and talk about each picture and give the parents a chance to ooh and ah over their children's adorable drawings.